Hey, what's going on, little peach? Hi, pumpkin. We didn't say last up the last video that we were a podcast. We're a podcast. We are a podcast. Let's just start out with that. Go, go for it. We're a podcast. We are anywhere that podcasts are. We are Pumpkin and Peach podcast. I'm Peach. He's Pumpkin, and this is our Halloween Advent calendar. We talk about a lot of cool stuff on our podcast, so you should go check it out. Um, yeah, there's a link in the description of every video that I put out. And I'll take you anywhere that you want to go that has to do with us. You should go check out our, our podcast. Because we're pretty fun. <laughs> if you can't tell just by these videos. Um, you might be wondering, hey, why are you wearing the same outfit you were in the last video? Because we really suck at this. And last night was busy for me. Yeah, I suck. I had back to school night last night and I wanted to come home, eat dinner, and go to bed. I was exhausted. Um, so this is... 23rd it actually is the 23rd it's an odd night so it's my night to pick and the 22nd was uh, but you should go and watch that video don't tell them oh well i just that's not how this okay. works little peach so this is our halloween advent calendar little mini bottles of alcohol wrapped up with my pumpkins it's a patch peach made all of this mm -hmm. and we're randomly picking pumpkins out of the patch and uh, trying stuff we've never had before we usually do this for christmas but this year we decided to do for Halloween, and we're doing something else for Christmas. I think I know what this one is. Oh, is it going to be good? Oh, no, it wasn't. No, no, it's not. It's not going to be good. Yay! Seagram Strawberry Lemonade Flavored Vodka, made uh, with vodka distilled five times from the finest American grains. The finest. Um, bottled by Seagram Vodka Company, Fort Smith AR. So where's that Halloween fun fact at? Should have been ready with one. I am, I have it. Oh, she um, is, she has it. Oh my god, it straight up smells like awful. Oh man. This is not gonna be pretty. Fun facts. These aren't, those weren't actually like fun facts, they oh, were just facts. It smells like nail polish remover. Oh, okay, so this is a fun fact. Fun fact. And I will give you a little two. child just got murdered outside, because that's what it sounds like. Well, not by us, because we're on... Well, obviously, if we're here, we've got an alibi. Yeah, right. I mean... Okay, so the mask that they use for Michael Myers' mask... Well, and, I knew this. Yes, I did too, but they might not. That's true. Jesus, man. Uh, the Michael Myers' mask that they use in the Halloween movies was originally a Captain Kirk mask from Star Trek. The prop department for the film were tasked... In, tasked in finding a mask for the iconic villain Michael Myers in 78. Uh, they ended up selecting a Captain Kirk mask because it was relatively featureless. They altered the hair and eyes and spray painted it white to bring us the killer mask we know and fear today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I will also give you a, like, a fun quirky fact. In Alabama, it's illegal to dress as religious figures for Halloween. Alabama! Alabama has many strange laws like outlawing fake mustaches in church. Or the practice of putting ice cream cones in your back pocket. How the fuck would they know you're wearing a fake mustache in church? Like, they have a fucking mustache inspector when you walk in? Like, It's illegal to dress up as a nun, priest, or any other member of the clergy. If you decide to hit the town in one of those costumes, you could be fined up to $500. Well, Alabama. Alabama sounds pretty dumb. I mean, granted, you really shouldn't be, like, impersonating one of those people. But I mean, like, on Halloween, you should be allowed to dress as whatever you want, I suppose. Um, but the fake mustache in church, that's just nonsense. I guess ghosts don't ever play uh, in Alabama. Because no one would be able to dress up. I suppose, but they're not, like, well, they're kind of, like, perverted clergy. So I, I think they'd kind of know that they weren't really pretending to be... Real clergy members. Uh, oh, another fun fact. Uh, it's not a fun fact, but it's just something I saw on the way home. I was driving past a house that was decorated, and they had, I mean, they had an inflatable, and it was a skeleton couple, kind of like, just like, humping each other. Yeah, it was like, but they didn't look like skeletons. Like, they had hair, but they were like skull people, skeleton people. But, like, I think the woman had, like, longer hair and the guy had hair, but they were, like, skeleton people. And, like, they were kind of just, like, 
I don't want to say humping, like, because they, they weren't, like, moving, but, like, they were on top of each other, like, embracing. And, like, one was, like, laying on top of the other one. Like, they were kind of, like, in a sitting... Like, one was, like, possibly riding the other, but, like, closer. I had never seen an inflatable like that before, and I was kind of like, that's weird. All right, let's go no, this page. don't smell it. I told you it smells fucking awful. This is the worst smelling thing we've had. It smells like nail polish remover. No, there's... A hint of what? You want to smell mm. this? That's Boy. what she said. You want to smell this? It smells awful. Don't do it. There's... I don't even want to drink this. Just based on the smell. Like Again, there's been plenty of times that we've smelled things that smelled horrible and they tasted good. And vice versa. It smelled good and tasted awful. So smell is not an indication of how it's going to taste, but it really doesn't get you pumped up for it. It really makes you think, oof. Okay, ready? No, not really. Yeah. Cheese. <laughs> yeah, we said cheese. We did. Ready? Just. Oh, boy. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, it tastes as bad as it smells. That was a twofer. That's bad. Of awful. Not the worst, but it's up there. What's worse than that? What's been worse than that? Some of the stuff we've had in this one. What? Like, Please tell me the what. The gin? No, I would have rather take drink another one of those over that. Oh, not good. Really? That's, oh. It smelled bad and it tasted bad. I wouldn't bad. ever, ever drink it again. I, I wouldn't would... even put that in anything. That would that tastes bad. If yeah. you put that in a mixed drink, it would probably make it just taste bad. All right, so that's not good. Don't, don't. Didn't we? Fuck you, France. Yeah. And our. That's not France, though. Arkansas. So it's nothing to do with France. I had to put in like little disclaimers on the other things. We were talking about France so much. I had to put in little. Hey, we're just kidding, because I don't want people to think we hate France. We don't like, we don't hate France. They make some pretty great cider and champagne. Uh, we can't really base that off of the, the bullshit right. shit. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! See ya!